people starting. Here yeah. we go. Oh, <laughs> boy. Okay, and here we're starting. Yo, oh, boy. boy. Countdown to begin. I love an error. Who knows? When we'll start? Will it be now? Will it be now? Are all you robot enthusiasts ready and waiting? Do you guys have the means to open your ear holes, put on them headphones? I, I don't want you guys listening to this on some bad speakers. You guys need premium, premio headphones. That's right. Go tell dad, hey, your speaker system. Let's take it out of your car and hook it up to my iPhone. Welcome to the Steam Powered Giraffe 15 year anniversary. <laughs> Some of you are probably really confused because you thought, wait, aren't these a bunch of colorful metal clowns that perform? And you would be right. And here they are. Come on through. Here they are. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're a little nervous. They're a little nervous. But we are Steam Powered Giraffe. Sans makeup. We're in our flesh forms. And. It has been 15 years since the inception of the band. And we've gained members, we've lost members, we've, we've done so many different things. How could we possibly... Just those two. Just those two. <laughs> uh, didn't we just celebrate our 10-year anniversary? Didn't we make a bunch of Blu-rays? Why, it seems like it was five years ago just yesterday. Oh, Recollecting. Just five years ago. Um, <laughs> so I wanted to do something special post-pandemic. You know, here we are. Uh, you know, we got our acoustic instruments going back to our roots, and we're gonna play a little. Technically, the bass is plugged in, but it's just done to a little Fender amp. So. You probably won't be able to hear it anyway. So. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, let's introduce ourselves. Let's let's do that because yeah. you know, some of you probably haven't seen us in a while. Uh, whether that's not looking at some of our I, I recent don't, music I, videos, or I don't, I don't think I know who you are. Okay. Uh, my name is David Michael Bennett, and I play the Spy in the robot band Steam Powered Giraffe. And uh, that's probably most of the robot you'll see today. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm uh, Isabella Bunny Bennett, and I play Rabbit in... I'm just kidding. I play <laughs> Rabbit in Steam Powered Giraffe. And I also play Gigi the Giraffe. Wait, their voices sound awfully familiar. Hold on a second. In Steam Powered Giraffe. <laughs> the, They're the same character. The chat has weighed in, and they all think your dress is pretty uh, oh. funny. Oh, thank I was trying to find a black dress. <laughs> Did you, did you Whole them, story. Okay, did you so show them the black yet? background, <laughs> black clothing. When we did our test on we, Wednesday for the patrons, we, we, you know, floating head kind of syndrome. But uh, here, I was like, I was uh, expecting us all to wear a little bit of color, and I had a little bit of white in here. But then here these are. two come with their black shirts, and I don't get to be a floating head. So what looks classier? Here, I'll get a little. There, I'll, I'll increase the. There. Now you can see the black a little better because I increased the, the the contrast down a little. That's great. I decreased the increased decreased no decreased the contrast. Um, so yeah, some of you maybe you just found out about us. Maybe you've been following us for the last fifteen years. Oh, someone sent us ten bucks. Hey! It's, it's, uh, Lunatic Knight's 30th birthday Whoa, day! Wow! Happy birthday! <laughs> happy, happy birthday, birthday to happy you! Happy birthday! Oh, this fit in my pocket? <gasps> pocket! Melodica pocket! pocket. <laughs> wait, did we introduce everyone? I don't think. Oh we wait, yeah, my name. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. We introduced the most important people, obviously. I'm, my we're name all done. Is Brian Barbara, and I uh, just found out that Bunny can put a melodica in her pocket, and that's pretty sweet. Yeah, and I play nice zero and Steam Power Drive as well. So that was our intro bit. We worked really hard on all that. <laughs> <laughs> we know we we rehearsed we rehearsed the show uh, to death this whole week. Yes. Oh yeah. I'm just this, that's sarcasm, by the way. Uh, Alicia Fitzsimmons, thanks for ten bucks. Alicia, <laughs> I'll try not to do that too often when we're yeah. Uh, if we miss one of yours, we'll, we'll try to give you a shout out right before the stream ends. Because uh, we got some songs we're gonna play. Yeah, that's um, right. A little bit of history before we get started. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and away we go. No, no I mean I know. Million you. Hold on, no, we're not gonna hear those those catchy tunes yet. I know you're really excited about. <laughs> so playing basically, music, but... at the end of the stream, we're gonna be like, who was the who was the most villain person of the stream? And right now, Bunny has all the points because she stopped the music. Oh, yeah, just, she did stop the music. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm just, I'm That's me. Joking. I'm the villain. So uh, I am the necro star. We'll see. Who, you know. We'll see who the hero of the stream was. It's probably gonna be Brian. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. Who saves uh, the stream? <laughs> um. So uh. Yeah. Bunny's gonna start us off with some some history of of the band. Well, you know, uh, back in 1896. Wait, that's the fictional history. <laughs> back in 2000. 
Wait, hold on. It's 15, 15 years ago. Let's do math. Let's all do math. Okay. 2008. January 22nd, 2008. That's our anniversary. Yes. Uh, so two days from now. Um, we started at Boboa Park. We took a mime class, uh, all of us, through various points, and sometimes we repeated it. Me and David yeah. repeated it. Yeah, I think you might have done yeah, it. Yeah, twice. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that's how we met through uh, uh, Grossmont Community College uh, here in La Mesa and San Diego County. And we. In California. We did a bunch of Southern plays. <laughs> I was Dracula. Oh, that we was were a really in, good play. We were in plays together. And yeah, yeah. You, you improv, improv, improv yeah. troops. We did improv together. We did improv. Yeah. A very random place out in the middle of nowhere. That was fun. Where we I remember <laughs> seeing. Rancho San Diego. Yeah, 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 I remember yeah. seeing the, the Tenacious D Pick of Destiny movie right before like one oh, of our yeah. last yeah. performances there. <laughs> I was like, that was pretty funny. What a great movie, too. Yeah. Wow. Um, so yeah, we've been we've been performing quite a lot, uh, quite a while. We have our start busking on the streets, uh, getting you know yelled at by <laughs> random passerbys. So we're very uh, accustomed to being uh, uh, weird. We, uh, I suppose <laughs> yes. We were the perfect. Which makes us perfect for the internet. We yeah, were perfect for the for uh, for being a weird band. A weird already. band. Yes. That scares you when you walk by us, yes. and then we come to life and we're like, hey. So we we I, we don't heckle the audience, but, but no, we, but but we never we never we never. Uh, we were never really phased by people yelling yeah. at us. Surprisingly, <laughs> not a lot of bad comments. But I think it's when you have like four, up to four robots and these, you know, immaculate costumes and stuff. It, it's just a little intimidating. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like I don't know if I want to be yeah. part of this show. I want to watch it. But yeah, we 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 grew like such a huge following just by doing our acoustic shows at Balboa Park, um, much to the dismay of some of the the street other street performers because yeah. we would we would amass a whole bunch of people. Um, and eventually we met Steve Negretti, who's no longer with us, not in a bad way, you know, not that he's dead, just he's no longer with us, and we started doing live shows, and our first, first, like, fully plugged in was our album release show for album one. 2009? I think it, I think it was, yeah, around, around 2009, yeah. That was a Halloween show, and it was called, it was at the Queen Bee's... Performance Diego, Art Center yeah. in San Diego, and I was there. You were. You opened for I us. I opened for them, and they hired me as a comedian, even though I've never <laughs> done comedy. <laughs> yeah, no, we just wanted to have you in San Diego. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, I was there. <laughs> but you did. You played some music, actually. Yeah, yeah. It, it was me, and then it was Sam. Uh, did the next set. Sam did a little set, and then you guys did yes. Yeah, it's yeah, Sam Luke who played good. Hatchworth in our in our group too. So, yeah. uh, so the, the secret was is all the people, all the robots that came in. Over the years, Had we're all from Queen Bees. Yeah, that's we're the, all from that's that the show. Only requirement. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, did you come to our album release show? Queen Bees. You're in. Who's a little, a little pop quiz. What was the name of that show? Ooh. I don't even know if I can get it right. I know basically it's supposed to be Night of the Vampiric Werewolf Mummy, but I don't know if that's. I think there was a cyborg in there. Yeah, I remember. I feel like someone had a costume on for two seconds. That someone dressed up as yeah, that? Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe it was a wizard costume. I don't know. I don't remember. Basically, it was a mummy with mixed with a werewolf, mixed with a vampire, mixed with a cyborg. Yeah, we were, we're not all out on those names for the. It shows. was done as like a big like B movie poster. I mean, you know, if what's you guys... the name of the stream? This stream right now. Fifteen year anniversary. Oh, Steam powered giraffe. Fifteen year anniversary. Ah, oh, boo! Oh, you know, fifteen years, and now all the laziness comes out. Just you know, a fifteen year show. We, huh? We've confused enough people. Then we be knighted the the, the the rabbits who have small feet. I mean, yeah, um, but you and, know. and have depression. <laughs> Can't we be that? I'm a rabbit, but I, I have depression, but I don't have small feet. Well, I, then you get out. I definitely wear it. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Out. A size 13, 14 in men's, and 12 in women's. So I have very uh, large feet. Oh, what? We can share shoes. Yeah. So, are we all showing our shoes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think Let's we all see. have that similar size. I'm, I'm actually yeah. wearing the shoes I use for the spine right oh. now. You can see. You can see that I wore some hiking, if, hiking socks. If I do this, I might flash the audience. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> Let's not do that ever again. <laughs> I was gonna fall back and take it all out. Yeah, there's there's quite a bit of boxes back here. It wouldn't be good to fall on that. That would've been funny. You're gonna fall on my Lego tall neck. Dang it! It's, it's I like, almost <laughs> saved the stream. There's nothing but a pit of spikes back there. With my classic uh, Charlie Chaplin act. Hey, antics. since we're since we're just we're only ha we're only uh, a five percent of the way through the history of Steam yeah. Parent Draft. <laughs> Let me just list off some people who have, who have generously given us some. some oh cash yes. Over. Hey, I'm not. Uh, how can, how can uh, I be on stream and and read this at the same time? Amo, uh, thanks for the ten bucks, and Amo, thanks for the twenty bucks. Whoa, Amo! Hey, uh, Mo! Catherine, thank you for the the, the, the twenty bucks. Uh, I, uh, I love your little. The, is that a bird or a pear? <laughs> a pear emoji? I think it's a pear emoji. <laughs> and uh, 
And hey, uh, Leaf Green, uh, thanks for the, the kind words. Uh, your music also means the world to us. Just just kidding. Uh, Julianne Furman, <laughs> thank you for the, for, oh. for, the, for the heart emoji too. Uh, in Lay Zoran Moon, uh, uh, thanks for wishing for Captain Albert Alexander. Can't wait to disappoint you later. Oh no! <laughs> When he was a boy. Hey, 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 and, ho. Uh, he we got we got the Huey. The Huey uh, giving us ten bucks. Okay. Wanted hey. to play. There's some there's some shout outs. Down uh, by the sea. Shout. We'll, we'll pick our times for that because I know that's that that'll probably be annoying if we're just sitting here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but thank you, thank you so much for the. We tips. got. We it got feels like we're busking, right? It's doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> but you know what? I'll be honest. I never. We never got ten bucks that often in, in our. It would be like a dollar or something. Uh, uh, so the, thank you, thank you. Here's all the change in my pocket. Oh, Which is fine. We were happy to it. It would it would buy us like. Uh, a hamburger or something after that. Yeah, I remember we went to California Pizza Kitchen one time. We got like like some a massive like a hundred dollar donation. Uh, we're like, yeah, we're gonna go and get some California yeah. Pizza Kitchen. That's uh, the so we'll, we'll really resume. Like we'll resume our, our <laughs> Steam Party Drive history. It's problematic. I mean, after we talk about. Oh, I love Pizza California <laughs> Pizza Kitchen. If you're watching California Pizza Kitchen, you want to hire Steam Party Draft <laughs> As a to, pro- fact, to promote your your pizza. <laughs> we wrote uh, a song that you sell in airports. Apparently, <laughs> okay. So let me so, see my California pizza. Uh, the true natives to SoCal call it California P K K C K C C K CK. <laughs> okay, uh, let, let's put a pause on this history. We got to our album release show. And who knows what happened to us after that? But I don't. I'm not gonna. Oh, continue I'm not this not. <laughs> what happened is we did a bunch of shows and then we started touring around America and then we started. We, we did. We did the San Diego Zoo. We, we did a bunch Canada, of stuff like that. We did Legoland. We did and uh, Disneyland. We did Middle Earth. And we did out. We did, came out with a bunch of albums, and <laughs> then the pandemic happened, and we started to come out nothing but albums and projects. And we haven't done live shows since 2020. Yeah. Uh, but let's save all this for the Q and A. It's going to come up. Yeah, I think our, we're going to cover some of Your questions answered later, and uh, a lot of your favorite songs and the history mm. behind them. Without any further ado, uh, I think it's going well. I think <laughs> me, it's going just well. Me. So Let <laughs> me just drink from my very convenient steam powered giraffe oh, nice. a water bottle. Limited oh. edition clean canteen. Well, where can bottle. I get one of those Steam Power Draft water wow. bottles? Wow. It's the same brand we used when we were busking on the streets. In fact, I still use a clean canteen. <laughs> we're not endorsed at all, but I do like them. I do like clean Although canteen. Although we did write the song, Set Me Free My <laughs> Clean Canteen. <laughs> Man, what I, part of me, like, I know people want to hear the songs. As they are. <laughs> but, but what if we just talk the entire time? <laughs> <laughs> now think about products that you like, and now think about... No, I was thinking, I was thinking, wouldn't it be just so, it would be so great to hear Brian's lead, singing lead on Honeybee, oh, or, yeah. or Bunny singing Baby Baby. I know we've done that for, do like, that. patrons before. Yeah. But yeah, not this stream. Not for the stream. for the 20. For the 20. Anyways, this, w- yeah, this stream we were like, oh, you know, it'll be like... 30 minutes, and we're already at 20 minutes, and we haven't done anything. <laughs> <laughs> and the people keep showing up. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, we'll keep going until until we're too tired. Uh, yeah. It is a Friday, and we've been working real hard, hard on stuff. But more on that in the future, when we get to the questions. <laughs> I think you guys got two minutes before we have to head out. No, I'm just kidding. It's, uh, Okay. Thank you so much for appearing here. If, if we don't start a song, we're never going to start let's, a song. Let's start. <laughs> I agree, I agree. Let's start with one of the very first. I couldn't agree with you. I think. More. I think we're just excited because we're on a black background. It looks real fancy, and oh, it does. and plus you're all look here, you. and we haven't we haven't oh, been man, able to look perform. At this hand on the black background. Wow. Yeah, look at this. We don't really have to be in character, so we're kind of just like us as people, but you know, on a camera as people. <laughs> and we're like, hey, camera, and I can see myself. <laughs> yeah. We're all looking at this. Yeah. Of this. <laughs> we're all looking at. Yeah, I look pretty good. Whoa. Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> wow! We'll we'll do our we'll do our our. Uh... The people just showing up want to know what songs they've missed. <laughs> <laughs> you you've haven't missed, missed any songs. You've missed no songs uh, except for a little bit of Captain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the uh, only amount of Captain you. We get. we should do like this. Almost looks like uh, like we could make it. We could literally make like Steam Power Draft without the makeup. Unplugged, the album. and it's just like us unplugging like these giant like outlets from our. These are all these are all screen capturable <laughs> things. Just, just Photoshop like a plug in me, and it's like it's like I took it out of my chest or something. I just I have to look stupid. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, we can take uh, awkward prom photos after, by the end of the prom my massage. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, let's go, finally. When I was 
a young boy I went down to the county fair Brought myself a nickel Bought a pickle I changed the spare Thought I'd spend a cent or two To see what the robots could do There were wires all around Electrical sound Steam from their exhaust Our gears and coils all crisscross ah, 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 ah. Yeah! Everybody's going to the clockwork of Hartfield Everybody wants to see the show People grab the door, scream and shout for more. Volume, music, and song fill the air. A clockwork pot fill. Clockwork pot fill. Clockwork Here we go. After the show, he had robots. Asked me if we'd like to meet the robots up close. The robots up close. Well, they greeted me, and one shook my hand. One shook my hand. Absolutely. Asked me if we'd like to join their robot band. I said, oh yeah, oh yeah. Everybody's going to the clockwork vaudeville. Everybody wants to see the show. People clap and stomp their doors and turn up the why your music and song fill the air? A clockwork vaudeville. Clockwork vaudeville. When I was a young boy, I went down to the county fair. Sorry, I didn't know if we were doing the robot. <laughs> we're kind of no, going in and no, out of the robot. No, I ain't seen those robot knees in uh, three years. We okay? It's hard. It's hard not to do the robot. Oh. When, when, we, when we did our dress rehearsal for patrons earlier, we didn't do any robot. Yeah. And, now, and we were like, we're not going to do robot. And then immediately. I think it's my comfort. It's my yeah, comfort zone. Sure. So you'll see a little robot. We'll, be yeah. a little, we'll, get, we'll get a little sweaty. Clockwork, oh. Clockwork Vaudeville, one of our first songs. Ooh. Not not the first, but it's definitely up there. It's one of the earliest. And yeah, yeah, yeah. We know we messed up the lyrics of the yes. last part. Yeah. <laughs> the hardest part about singing that song is trying to figure out which one, which one yes. goes first. The uh, original, the original uh, Clockwork Vaudeville ha actually had an extended um, verse, I believe. Yeah, two verses. Yeah, it was it was a much longer song, and it was really slow. Oh my. Um, when we performed at Legoland, circa 2010, 2009, we uh, or maybe it was 2011. I can't remember, but we cut down. Um, Clockwork Vaudeville took out those verses and sped up, and it's nice. it's and it's like, mmm, that sounds nice. It's hard to listen to the old version. It is. <laughs> it sounds it's, like it's, you're it's, running through like molasses. You're it's like, not. It's probably. Pro it's probably problematic, but it sounds like we're on Quaaludes. Yes, it does. <laughs> it 100% yes. does. Which is which is a which is an which is a prescription drug. Yeah. From the 90s? 80s? 80s, 90s? Yeah. It sounds like it's 70s, 80s, 90s. It's a, it's, it was very popular in the 80s and the yes. 90s. So anyway, says the Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Basically that. Um, I didn't. This I didn't. I didn't plan this many people to give us like tips. <laughs> uh, I know some people might be doing it on our website, so thank you. We're obviously not going to be able to thank all of you individually. Uh, but uh, let's go through a few that that YouTube's strong. Well, all right. Uh, Michael Price, thank you so Dang, much. Michael, Sean thanks. Sean Foster, thank you so yes, much. Uh, it's also from Lexi, apparently too. So thank you, Dang. Sean and Lexi. Lexi, thank you. Uh, thank you, <laughs> Neomar. Uh, for the kind words. 
Alex Yee mm-hmm. Star. Yee. Uh, thank you for the kind mm-hmm. words. Yee Ray. Dracula. <laughs> thank you for the Dracu- kind Dracu- words. Thank you, Dracula. Hey, don't accept the tip from Dracula. <laughs> You can't uh, invite them into the house. You'll you'll open your wallet and you'll come out. <laughs> uh, Crow, thank you so much for the kind words. Uh, wow, Facebook member from eight years ago. Uh, thanks for sharing that. Alexis Foster, thank you so much. I am Zion the Zodiac Wolf. Thank you for 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 all your support. That's um, David Michael Bennett talking out, outside of the street <laughs> that you don't even know. And or he's right there. Yeah. It's it. They're coming in and it won't actually Wait. let me look at all of them. <laughs> but uh, he's but, right there. <laughs> But some of them it is. <laughs> Another interesting thing about Clockwork Vaudeville. Sorry, you still going? Uh, there, there's a few more, but whatever. We'll get. We'll, we'll do it. Another, <laughs> Another interesting thing about Clockwork Vaudeville is that we actually used to do different harmonies instead of, of uh, during the. A man came up to me. We. Uh, yeah. John and I used to do. Um, something quite different that you might recognize. Uh, and I think we're just. I think we're gonna go into it because Brian's really learn it about this this part anyways <laughs> so this is what this is what um clockwork vaudeville used to be like maybe the first uh and there's and tomorrow with clockwork it is one of steam power Dress first songs which we'll talk a little bit more in a second uh but this was the original harmonies for that part um we let's see if we know a man came up yeah. to me after the show after the show and ask me if it would like to meet the robots of clothes The robots of clothes Well, they greeted me And the one shook my hand The one shook my hand And asked me if it would like to join their robot band I said, oh yeah So, yes Believe it or not, <laughs> it is uh, it is the it is the song "Me and My Baby," uh, and so what we did is we liked that part so much we were like, "This could be its own song," mm-hmm. and then, did well, you, <laughs> and then we came up with. Are we gonna do the harmonies a little? We'll do a little yeah, yeah uh, so we're gonna do a little thing where we're not gonna play the all all of the every yeah. the full version of all these songs, but we're gonna do a little taste with just a little bit of guitar and focusing on just the vocals and we'll get real close with a stereo microphone. If you don't have headphones, uh, you might be missing out on some of this stereo goodness. It sounds like we're right there in your <laughs> in your living room. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, let's start with uh, as if we didn't rehearse this. We did rehearse this. That doesn't mean we're going to get it right. No, that's right. Just... Um, <laughs> Uh, uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the talk of the town is where we're headed next, cause everywhere we go is the best. The very, very best. It doesn't matter the company, but we're pretty good company for you to have around. around, around, around. And me and my baby and love my a Saturday night, a Saturday night. Saturday. Yeah, me and my baby and love my Saturday night. Saturday night. Saturday. With the dancing uh, and the singing, uh, like the weekdays uh, never happened. Never, uh, I could be, I should uh, be dancing uh, right now. Cause me and my and baby love my Saturday night. A Saturday night. Saturday. Yeah, me and my and baby love my Saturday night. Love, love Saturday. Take a walk. My baby and I, my baby and I. Me and my baby. <laughs> this thing is so hard. Oh, no. I have to like bite it with my teeth to keep it in we my gotta, mouth. We gotta get you a new one. It's falling apart. Yeah, I need I need like uh, a little rubber. I don't know. I think this is a, these it. are great. This is a great bit. Uh, you can see, you can see like h- how old this is. Like the paints, like this this toured with me all over the country, and you can kind of hear 
Yeah, it's a little sticky. It's getting a little rusted. <laughs> probably needs some maintenance. It's, it's, I think it's time for a new one. <laughs> it's probably time for a new one. These things are, because it's all the metal reeds and stuff. And you constantly have saliva flowing through here. <laughs> and my spit valve is broken. Delicious. <laughs> uh, anyways, this is a Horner Jubilee. It came out like a, as an anniversary. They're known for their melodicas. It's really nice. I have a couple other melodicas. And they're a fun instrument. You're supposed to play them like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we, but you know, this is what they call a training tube, so you can look at the keys. Or you know, sometimes oh, like nice. people in the band, oh, they would just mount this, <laughs> and yeah. then it's they'd use Make it as it a, a keyboard. Easier, yeah, yeah. And it kind of adds to the the whimsicalness of the steampunk kind of. Yeah, stuff. you yeah, get that harmo uh, harmonic mm. sound. Harmo <sighs> it's a harmonica sound. Harmonica sound. Yes. Uh, so uh, now I. Wait, well, where'd you get a harmonica? <laughs> <laughs> what are it? Everyone has a harmonica. <laughs> I'm getting a harmonica. Uh, so the, uh, so uh, that was, that's enough of, of David Michael Bennett uh, songs for a bit. That was uh, Clockwork of Me and Baby. Thank you for you're very for welcome. Us. Now this uh, is another song that David Michael Bennett wrote. Uh, <laughs> it was one of the, his favorite songs that he wrote, and he said, "Well, I can't sing that song. Uh, it's too good." Uh, but I know a guy. I know so this there guy. we were. It was 2010, and we. Were, <laughs> <laughs> Our first real touring show was in Austin, Texas, at a steampunk convention that, I, that the name escapes me. Steam, how steam, steamland. Wait, is this? I can't remember. Is this still the bit that? Because Brian was joking that I wrote the next song. No, I wasn't. <laughs> no, this is. Well, I was. Just, I'm what? dead serious. <laughs> anyway, Michael, John, Sam, and the rest of us. We had a touring van at the time. We went in, and we crossed the border into Texas. Um, that trip was famous for our vans. Uh, it had one. Of, it was it was like an old like hospital shuttle. Mm. So it had one of those bus doors. Oh yeah. yeah. And the glass just fell out on the freeway, <laughs> and so we had to put like trash bags. Oh no! And uh, we got pulled over by while crossing the border. One of our members had brought weed into Texas, and you know Cause that's because that's, <laughs> that's a great idea. It was actually it was actually Arizona. That's when we got stopped. Either oh, you're right. Way, it's it's, it's been a couple idea. years. Anyways, we made it. It was a lot of fun. But, uh, yeah, we don't do a lot of touring by, v by v bus. <laughs> we did get rid of... We sold the bus to another band. Nice. And apparently they broke it. They partied so hard in it, they broke it. And That's what you get yeah. with a van. So it had a good Wear life. Down. Yeah. Um, cool. Where, how, do we, how do we set up for this one? Who's, who's where? Uh, I'm over here. You're over mm -hmm. here? What are you oh, right. This one. All right. So once again, this is uh, David Michael Bennett's special. Some people are, are not going to understand the jokes because because it's not a joke because <laughs> I'm not joking because 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 the no sarcasm is 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 easy to detect. I'm not because it's not sarcastic. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> this is a truth. This is a truth song. A very, I, very I'm getting that vibe. Yeah. Like if I was the spine, I would be the one. Like I don't know what you're talking about, zero. <laughs> and I would say like you know, there's there's jelly beans on the moon. You see, That's I more told like you. Gigi. That's Gigi's <laughs> voice. But... <laughs> exactly, Gigi's voice. Why well, it's jelly beans on the moon? I'm I mean, going. If you want to be Gigi for the rest of the show, you can. You can. We're not. I'm not gonna be mad. <laughs> G I mean, Gigi is America's sweetheart. And uh, we there's never been any parties in that band. That was also a joke. Obviously, we just used no, no. Uh, the party in the band was when we sold it to another band. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have any parties. <laughs> when we sold it to another band, they partied so hard apparently they broke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the story I heard. Sorry. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is a great intro to me. <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes have never been so bright Radiating through the night And they burn in you My heart has always tended to be blue And though I think it's strange but true I think I'm finding I'm, I'm in, in love, love with you But my stubborn heart is rusted in its place And all your shattered stars won't fill you out of space but if you rely on me, I let my own world remain in you. Just promise all you say is true. Mm. I'm a little too, sorry. That's all right. <laughs> My mind 
mind I wish to that you define A fossil on the far from mine Clear in your view Your smile A spot of something in your smile Go on, no, it's been a while I get the feeling that you love me too But my stubborn heart is rusting in its place and all your shattered stars won't fill you out of space But if you rely on me, I let my world remain in you Just promise all you say is true Positively amplified, never wants to stop your smile. I follow something in your smile, though I know it's been a while. I get the feeling that you love me too, but my stubborn heart is rusting in its place, and all your shattered stars won't fill you out of space. But if you rely on me, I let my world remain in you. Just promise all you say is true. Oh, promise all you say is true. Oh, promise all you say is true. Great song, Dave Michael Bennett. What a great track. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't write that one. <laughs> uh, so Brian, Brian came in uh, circa 2000, was it 2015 or 2016? Yeah, I think it was uh, beginning, uh, end of 2015. Yeah. And, and then um, the official show was 2016. What was kind of weird, is, I mean, not weird, but you basically you came in, there's all these songs already, yeah. and we basically said, here, learn like 10 of these. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, yeah, learn the, learn the first like, because the first live show was going to be in like February, mm -hmm. so it was like. Uh, electricity, honeybee, mm -hmm. all the standards. Basically. Yeah. Um, Marshmallow World. Oh, um, that's 2016. True. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So it was the end of 2016, into 2017. That was the first time uh, the fans got a taste of Brian's voice with the band, and yeah. it's been that way ever since. It just it seems like it's not that long ago, but it was because there was a, a pandemic, or there is a pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> and, and time is confusing. <laughs> I'll put a pause in here just because we yeah. have so many people. Oh, yes. Yeah, go, yeah, go, yeah. Ahead, go ahead. Tips. Uh, a I O U N A. Thank you so much. Uh, Thanks, uh, homie. They've been watching since MK3. Oh, dang. That's uh, a good album. And uh, Mr. Potico. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I like this, em <laughs> got this emoji. <laughs> going Apologies on. If, we, if we missed any of your stuff. Ones that came in, YouTube seems to only keep them for a little bit for us. Mm. <laughs> so, but yeah. thank you so much for your uh, patronage and your support. Seriously. Hope you guys enjoy uh, the free nice. little concert. Cool, yeah. We got about, not that anyone needs to hear the numbers, we got about 1,165 people watching right now. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, great. that's great. Thank okay, you so now much. I'm nervous. <laughs> Thanks so much, everyone, for tuning in and catching up with us. Um, so, yeah, we've gone through a lot of members, as some of you may know. Uh, Aaron Burke, John Sprague, Michael Reed, all that jazz. It's been a lot of, it's been a long time, but um, we do keep the, the, the classics, like Clockwork Vaudeville, Me and My Baby, uh, Honey Bee and all that jazz. Like, um, we just basically we kind of had to engineer some of those harmonies to work better with your voice. Yeah, totally. Because Sam had a very the highest, so high, yeah. so high. Yeah. So like a lot of those harmonies, we kind of just like did away with or changed. Yeah. We had to, some, some of them those... we, we just inverted. Yeah. Yeah. Like Suspender Man, we inverted all those. So there's like a really mm -hmm. deep part in Suspender Man now. Yeah. Which is kind of fun. Did we perform that? I think we performed yeah, that live. We did. We did. We, we had a we had a, a string of that and uh, yeah. steamboat shenanigans. Oh yeah, I remember. That, yeah. Yeah. Vaguely, vaguly. It was a swamp. Am I really supposed to be capping the history? Because I think I skipped. No, no, no I, I, I was just joking. I thought I was just. Well, anyways, uh, here we are. So uh, the rest is history. Um, while we while we were just talking about, uh, or singing Brian songs and 
We should. Uh, oh yeah, we break break it break it down. Break, so we, we should break, break one of the songs down. We're gonna break it down. We're gonna break down a little uh, line awake for you. Okay. I don't know why it matters what side we're on, but this is where we stand during the actual show. Yeah. So, so it does so, matter. Yeah. Well, it does. <laughs> when you have, especially whenever I I am in because you'll, there'll be pans to either side depending on right. what the in ear monitors. Yeah. So it just helps being in the those positions. Uh, <laughs> okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a little bit of the the chorus right now. I'm gonna do it by myself, and then right. we're gonna get in that second verse, and then we'll get the whole. Course together. Okay. Uh, I'll do a little bit of the guitar then, up until a certain yeah. amount of point, and then we'll focus on them harmonies. Okay, let's get a note. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. Lying awake like I've been before, but I'm miles away. I can't see straight no more. Right in your space, I just walk through your door. But I'm still so far away Time slips away while the earth decays I'm tired of breaking, say, hey, hey Raveling softly while you're speaking time But I'm still so far away Okay, lying awake like I've been before But I'm miles away, I can't see straight no more Right in your space, I just walked through your door But I'm still so far away Ground slips away while the earth decays I'm tired of breaking day, hey Turning around at the speed of sound But I'm still so far away Okay, lying awake like I've been before But I'm miles away, I can't see straight no more Right in your space, I just walk through your door But I'm still so far away Right, okay. I do rough screens, so yeah. Like, yeah, I can't always <laughs> tell. I just, I'm making sure. Yeah, you, I figure. I'm sure people can get a nice look at your dress. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, har very harmony intensive. That's always been our focus for the band. Um, you know, a, a four part harmony is, is not uncommon to hear in a lot of our songs, yeah. especially the recorded versions, mm -hmm. and then some. As if you tear apart our songs, there's a lot of harmony work in there. Uh, I mean, I, yeah, I think it's one of the, it's the main focus beyond instruments yeah. to oh, a yeah. degree. Some, I mean, when we were doing Balboa Park and stuff, uh, mm -hmm. and all those kind of stuff, <laughs> like we had a guitar, maybe a mandolin. We had the melodica mm -hmm. at some point. So yeah, having that kind of stuff, um, it was it was real. That's what makes it the, the, was the drop, focus of it. song the C five drops off. Yeah. Obviously, we've had backing musicians and stuff over the years add to it, and uh, it sounds yeah, it flushes out that stuff, gives it a unique sound. Yeah. Maybe uh, maybe uh, you've heard. Uh, you know, some songs like Honey Bee and stuff, which is very uh, harmony intensive, but there are little instruments to make yeah. it, jazz it up a little bit. At this part, I think it's time for some questions. Okay, cool. Let me just, uh, let me just make sure we get a, a few more uh, of people out there. Uh, I'm not quite sure which ones we've already done anymore, but Dahi, thank you so much for, uh, for, your, for your tip. Thanks, and Dahi. Boris T, uh, thank you, uh, also, thank you so much. Team. And we're also excited about upcoming projects. Yeah, we'll transition into the Q&A uh, with this super well-rehearsed uh, <laughs> thing. We picked some questions uh, from our Patreon patrons over Ooh. on our Patreon. If you want to support the band, uh, see some new stuff we're working on, sort of? Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes we're not able to. But uh, uh, we got a Patreon. You can go look for Steam Power Draft over there. www.patreon.com slash Steam Power Draft. And... Uh, uh, we selected a few that we thought would, would be good, uh, and uh, I believe we had uh, some questions open from YouTube as well, and we got some similar vibes from some of the, the most outstanding questions, so we're going to just address those first. Okay. Uh, question number one. <laughs> when slash what is your next album about? Wow. <laughs> when is it coming out? When have you got a new album coming out, basically? Give and us, a lot of people ask about what's it about, what's all this stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, we're not going to tease anything because we don't want to, you know... It's too early, but you yeah. did get a teaser. Yeah, uh, we did, we have been teasing it. I don't know exactly where you can see it. I know it's on my Twitter, as a as my background photo. But uh, the next album name has been released. It's Steam Power Giraffe Album Seven, and if you look at the artwork, it's kind of telling of maybe where we're going, maybe not. I don't know. Guess you're gonna have to <laughs> listen and find out. 
Uh, but yes, uh, we've, we we are definitely working on new music. Uh, more than just another album, too. So you've probably seen some of our covers in the past oh, yeah. Uh, year. Yeah, 2022 mm-hmm. we released some. We did a few to, uh, 2021 as well with Fart Patrol and... Uh, and uh, Harmony. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star mm-hmm. Harmony. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then uh, Unbreak My Heart. Mm-hmm. So we got... we And uh, I guess Summertime Sadness, Sadness, Sadness was in there Sadness, yeah. as well. So yeah, we we put out some some singles in the meantime while we while we work on all that stuff. Yeah, that's I think that's that pretty much answers. That's all we can really say. We're we're, in fact we're doing so much studio work that it goes into this next uh, question uh, that we're just kind of covering is uh, what about live shows? When are you performing in the UK? When are you going to Canada? When are you going to the United States? We get questions like this all the time. Obviously, since the pandemic started. Mm. Or slightly got better. Mm-hmm. I don't know, <laughs> uh, but yeah, we have we uh, took a back seat to doing live shows, like most bands. Uh, but we have not resumed doing any of that. Uh, uh, we we completely uh, turned our focus to studio work, finishing up whatever music videos we could with uh, our album at the time, 1896. Uh, got that out the door and immediately worked uh, started work on more studio stuff, which hopefully we'll be able to reveal to you mm-hmm. in the future. Yeah. We do hope to, uh, as we've talked to our patrons on Patreon about, we do want to do uh, live stream concerts from, uh, you know, my apartment basically, <laughs> and uh, and uh, from the void. They 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 probably they'll be they won't be like this. We'll be in character probably, and and we've been testing a little bit of that out on our Patreon, uh, but we're not ready. We just haven't been able to focus much on that. Uh, but it is in the works. Uh, we have no news with live shows. Obviously, we would love to get back on stage. Uh, we just... It's, it's a lot. There's, there's a lot. We, I, there's no real good time for it right now. And in the future, when you see our content that we release, you'll be like, oh yeah, this is when they were doing that. And then you can see, like, yeah, well, we weren't doing live shows because we were, we were, we're working so great. hard. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah, just, your support means a lot, so just, you know, if you keep supporting, even if it's just listening, please. Like, uh, we're working hard, and the content will come. Uh, okay, now on to the questions that aren't just gen- gen- general Gems. ones. That I, I, I think we covered most of what, what, what the most, the majority of the questions burning questions that. you yeah. have. Uh, you want to take this one? Uh, Funny. Forty-four. Yeah. How do you guys? Okay, glasses. <laughs> How did you guys decide that this day was the day your band was founded? Was it the day you guys came up with the name? Was it your first performance? I'm just curious because I don't know what constitutes a band's birthday. It is. It was technically the inception of the band was before we went out to Bubble Park, but January twenty second, two thousand eight, was the first day that People Bots came out and performed at Balboa Park. Technically, I think on our little our bread box, we put a little sign that said "Steam Power Giraffe presents People Bots" because we had no idea what we were doing. We we're like, "Is Steam Power Giraffe like our creative group?" Yeah. <laughs> and then we were like, and I think it was our our mime mentor, Mr. Jerry Hager, who was the Seaport Village mime for twenty six years. And you know, taught us all the mime. We took his classes. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, I just farted. Uh, yeah, he, he was the one that said, uh, "Maybe you should just call yourself Steam Power Giraffe instead of People Bots." Which was, I don't think we thought it was a good name, but we thought it was like funny because yeah. we, we were, were this. The act wasn't supposed to be like we're robots and real serious. Sorry, that was a little burp as I was talking. <laughs> well, no, I need to do something. I was trying to be real, real. Zone. Shattered stars by People Bots. That could be on your Spotify. Just remember. I, I, it was supposed to be like funny, stupid. Who we didn't care. Yeah. I don't think we thought this is it. No. Like we we knew we, it was on like a you know. A, We've never taken the band particularly serious, except where it comes to the harmonies. Except and the when people and really started liking our stuff, but, and we're like, oh. <laughs> but maybe you should think about it. Consider consider some seriousness. Um, but yeah, well, it was just the, the first day that at Bubble Park. It felt <laughs> it felt like the day. Like, like that's when everything kind of started coming together, and we got a little, a little bit of inspiration to keep it, doing it, this. It was the first, yeah. There, there's no other. That's where we put our anniversary. So most people, I don't know, maybe they put it at their first like show. That was our first show. We, we, yeah. we did practice. We obviously had had it, like you said, a little bit before then. But that was the first public showing of it. Mm. That you know, I don't think anyone was there that knows us now remembers us seeing us that yeah. day one. There's just no way, like. We probably encountered 10, 15 people. <laughs> but, but we were, you know, it was it was astonishing just seeing people coming up to us. And we were we like, looked, oh, when we first got there, our f- my first memory is mm-hmm. that people want to take pictures of us. Yeah. Well, of course. Tourists from probably outside mm-hmm. of town. Yeah, yeah. 
And we, didn't, we were like, we didn't even do anything. And we were like so jazzed. We were like, we don't even have to play any music. <laughs> we're already famous. <laughs> we played Mr. Roboto. We were, the music wasn't like a... The, Did you really? Yes. The, awesome. That was one of our first songs. It, wasn't, awesome. the, it wasn't the first thing that we were... The music wasn't like super integral. It was just... We just happened to have instruments. Yeah. yeah. And then it just started getting very much like the main thing. People came... Because we, we, you know, we started doing It harmonies. was a lot of slapstick comedy and, you know, bits and funny things and then mixed with songs. It was, it was cute. Um, that's where we, we kind of cut our teeth. So, yeah. Um, was it the day you guys came with the name? Uh, that's kind of... No, that was way back when... Yeah, I think it was, we came up with it for a cover that Bunny and I did. Not a very good cover. It's probably on our Patreon somewhere. It was just, we really liked the song Moaning for You from the Mills Brothers. Oh, uh, great And song. We, didn't, we didn't do all the harmony parts. We did like a, like two of them. And it was just something we put on like a, a fake MySpace. Oh. And, and, and we, we dressed like character. mimes because we were taking mime classes and we were kind of into uh, we, that. We, I don't know. We didn't really know what we were doing. You can see some of the some of that old yeah. videos. Even like our Scary World started out before the robots and stuff yeah. as... We, it was just kind of like a thing. We didn't expect people to yeah. watch it. The, the band name Steam Powered <laughs> Giraffe came from, uh, I remember distinctly, it was because David kind of liked giraffes, and I kind of liked steampunk, and we had this idea, it was like, well, what if you're a band? What if this band that we're going to we do, what if it's like pretentious, like their album cover is like a bunch of like top-hatted men in, in gentleman suits on a giant Steam Powered Giraffe, and it's like, Steam Powered Giraffe. Yeah. And it was like supposed I, to be that, like, that, it was supposed that, to be right. weird, pretentious, and dumb. And, <laughs> and here we are. Here we are. That doesn't do. So but, you know, versus history. So okay. yeah. So there. Now that we've disarmed everything, you can't critique us because even we think it's stupid. <laughs> even we think it's stupid. <laughs> no. Um, but was it your first pro? Like, oh yeah. Uh, so thank you for the question, Forty cool. Four. You want to take the next one? Uh yeah. This is from Candy B. And that is, uh, do you have a favorite memory from the last fifteen years? This is a tough. I'm, I'm assuming from the band. Because <laughs> 50 years is a long time. I've probably got some better memories than mm-hmm. what I was in the mm-hmm. band. But because you're, because well, you have some that you weren't in the band for 15. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I've known you for 15 years. Oh yeah, <laughs> I've yeah. known you for 15 years. It's true. I got some good memories. <laughs> so 15 years. Yeah. Okay, I guess I'll go. <laughs> is it, I'll I'll go first. Sure. Okay, my memory. Uh, it just it it's always the one that I come to. I probably said it before on a live stream somewhere. Um. We did a show. I don't remember the year. It was probably around 2013, 14? Mm-hmm. Probably 2013. We did a show in Michigan uh, in December, I believe. It was uh, two sold-out shows at, I can't remember the theater, uh, but it was like, there was a snowstorm, that de the plane, uh, and it was really cold. Um, and I just, I got sick, like some people do back in the day, <laughs> during yeah. the, with airplane travel and stuff. Uh, but I had to do those two shows. Uh, but I really had to pee. Whatever the sickness was <laughs> at the time, just probably the flu. Uh, mm-hmm. We couldn't cancel the show, right? Sold out, right? So, uh, and we didn't. We, there's no understudy, so I just had to take it a little easier, be gravelly, make jokes about it. Uh, but I really had to pee in the right in the middle of the show, probably because I was drinking so much water. Am I really great at telling stories or what? No, uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I know it's it's coherent a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I had to go to the bathroom, and I just made a bit out of it, and I didn't care. Uh, who I stepped on to get to that bathroom. <laughs> I was like, I gotta go, I'm sorry. And I they, I made uh, Sam and Bunny take the reins. And yeah. we've done that every once yeah, in a while. Course. And yeah, uh, I, I trusted them. Uh, Bunny did a stand-up job. Uh, so I went to the bathroom. And then as I was walking back, I realized this theater had an orchestra pit. And they didn't cover it. It didn't have like the, the cover over it. So it was just kind of like, it had like the covers over all the chairs and stuff. I don't know why it, they just didn't take the effort to, yeah. to cover it. So I was like, "Oh, I can walk under here instead of back onto the stage. I can go. I can. I can pop up un, within the orchestra pit." And I did, and I thought it was hilarious, even though I was like so sick. I was like, "This is my redeeming thing." Uh, and that that's it. That that was that's. that's, that's I don't know why that one stands out to me. Because I don't know how many times do you get to appear in an orchestra pit and no one's exp- and no oh, it. I, I don't remember what the what the audience reaction was, yeah. but in my. My mind that's probably... Who's standing over oh, there? standing over <laughs> They gave me an award. And, and they, they all stopped. The mayor of class. comedy came and he was <laughs> like... Wow. This is yours. <laughs> so that was great. Uh, so if you ever have the chance, opportunity to do that, and, and, and you trust the rest of your band yeah. not to get upset with you yeah. for throwing uh, things... That's the worst that I've done on stage. <laughs> Sam was a little uh, thrown off by that. That was one of his earlier performances, yeah, yeah. and he wasn't quite used to that happening. But we did great. Um, he did great. Be- being sick on stage is uh, well, it definitely throws a wrench in. This is it. like I'm coming up with like different ones. Uh, I wanted to say like you know like I have this a lot. Um, I don't I, a particular memory. It's been fa- a phasey, but a hazy. Um, but but yeah, when I'm doing the autograph, 
at autographs after a show, um, which is one of my favorite parts, just getting able to be able to, bleh, being able to meet all y'all, um, have these little girls come up with their moms and, um, you know, they're dressed like me <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I love it. It's great. And then the moms take me aside and say like, all their friends wanted to be like Elsa and Jasmine for Halloween, but she wanted to be Rabbit because you're her favorite princess. <laughs> and it's happened multiple times and it just always, always melts my heart. And the other one, I think this one's a little bit more personal. I mean, that's personal, but this one I think I shared with my brother, which was really good. We did a, a big show that uh, we uh, that seated like 700 people. We did it with a bunch of acrobats. It was called oh, Clockwork, Vaudeville. Clockwork Vaudeville. We did that in San Diego, yeah. Yeah, and it was about it was like a time travel show, and we had a bunch of like stunt performers. We had the guy who taught uh, Neo and the Matrix to throw knives, and like it was a cool <laughs> show. <laughs> and it was a little disjointed, but it was yeah, a little was disjointed, cool. but it was cool. <laughs> and and the memory I remember is that we were behind the curtains waiting for it to go, come up, and. That was the largest audience we've ever at had. At that time. It was, it was right before the San Diego Zoo and all yeah. that stuff. And it was so loud behind, behind the curtain. It was just like, it was like, oh my God. But then, then there was like this moment. I remember I turned over to my brother and it felt like we were in a dream. It was like, this is crazy. Like, I've never heard that many people. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's, it's still. I think, to I think this we, day, it, like it, my favorite it, it memory. It might have been disjointed, but, um, but I think we knocked it out of the park. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I remember people, I, some people that I personally knew just happened to be going yeah. to it because they knew some of the circus performers. Yeah. Like, so from my college and stuff like that, I remember people coming like, oh, that was pretty good. You guys were, I didn't even know you were doing this. So it always stands out to me, too, yeah. that, that show. Um, I don't think, I, I, the show was very disjointed. The show was, the show was uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a weird thing because we're so interesting anyways, but we were, but it, we were paired with all these yeah, background the, things. The focus was the, perf was the performers but and we, we were kind of in the background. But we kept taking it back, so that's why it, it was yeah. weird. It was weird. And, and <laughs> we didn't invest a lot of money into it, but there was a lot of money just waste. It's just, it didn't make a lot of money because you had to pay everyone. We didn't, we didn't actually, we didn't actually produce the show. We no. were hired by someone to do yeah. it and we, we just happened to be a, play a big part of it. So. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. It was a nice moment when I shared with my brother, and it was kind of this moment of, we made it. We did it. We did it. We're doing what we, we love. Yeah. yeah. And see. then we went on to the San Diego Zoo. Literally the day after that, we did our audition oh, for San Diego Zoo. Oh, okay. It just happened. Dang. And then, they, and then they did hire us because we were just, I guess they liked whatever we were doing. Yeah. We were like so fresh, too, right off the back of that. So, mm. so yeah, nice. if you ever, yeah, do, have, do, do a, a great show, and then do your audition right after that yeah, show. I, like, I think about that now, and I'm like, <laughs> would I even have the energy to do that? We were really tired. Yeah. I was wearing like... Lucky socks, it didn't help. Yeah. But but it did because because someone he commented he was like, oh, I so you got a, this is the this is my imitation of a guy that I'm not someone at the zoo that we hired. Him. I know I know who you yeah. didn't have to, you only had to do a little bit of his voice and <laughs> I, I know he was like is. he was like I always see you got some you got some some socks that look pretty comfortable there. It's like yeah, they're a pretty bright red color. I'm like I'm like oh yeah. And he's like are those your lucky socks for this? something like this. And I was just like yeah sure <laughs> but no, sure buddy but, but honestly i think that helped yeah, 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 yeah. but i think he was like on he wanted to hire him. Yeah, I, that's, I, that's exactly what he, it was he had yeah, to right, convince right. the zoo that yes this weird band that makes yeah. no sense for the zoo <laughs> works uh it worked this is drop name uh, it's fine yeah and we did that for two years and it was yeah. it was it was a great way to cut our teeth uh at doing 72 days 70, 72 yeah. days straight, straight seven days a week two summers in a row 2011 2012 <laughs> It was maddening, but I guess it was very helpful in, I don't want to make discipline, I guess. Like, we got really good, really, I mean, really tight. It's the, you know, the thousand hours situation. Yeah. It's like, you, you spend that much time on stage, nothing can throw you yeah. off, yeah. you know? Um, I guess one of my favorite memories is, it's a, this is a weird one, I guess, but it was in Chicago, and me, and Bunny, and I think Camille, or was it you, Chelsea, who all, we all got food poisoning. Yeah. We all got food poisoning, and I, this is the first time I've ever got food poisoning. So was this I feel, anime Midwest? Yeah, yeah. I feel terrible. I don't know how to deal. Was it you? It was me, yeah. you, and, and Bunny. Yeah. Oh, so, by the way, uh, oh, yeah. uh, I I, it wasn't because I forgot. I just yeah. We're the stream. Uh, we should. Yeah. We should. The, the Peniacs are here. Um, mm -hmm. uh, anyways, play Walter yeah, yeah. We so we're sick. As dogs, like I'm puking, Blah. everything. It's just going Coming out the. This is our. This, this is, these are our favorite memories, by the way. This is this is a favorite memory. Out the bike, it it's just constantly. I don't know both of them. It was the worst. It was the worst. It's uh, horrible. Yeah. Come on in. Come on in. Yeah, yeah, We're talking about diarrhea and barf. Oh yeah. Uh, this is Chelsea, uh, Chelsea Peniak. Uh, uh, 
one of the Walter workers who Hi. also handles a lot of our merchandise and basically keeps me from going insane with all the the yes. business work too. So. so we all got it, but so we never ate the we never ate the same thing. So yeah. not, so these three people right the here only all got sick, including uh, Camille, yeah. uh, who's not on, on camera. No, right she now. did not she get, didn't get sick. sick. You and Camille were all oh, not yeah, sick. Yeah. Okay, so Camille so, and I were not sick. Yeah. And they, they were like, ha ha ha. Yeah, yeah we feel great. So we haven't we haven't eaten for like <laughs> two days <laughs> now. We've been sick. <laughs> And I think I think we room. both had like a Gatorade before, and like that was like we're like okay maybe we can. So we go on stage and we're we're you know doing anime rules. I think my soul has left my body and is sitting across the room staring at us. I, I remember just being like, I gotta throw these underwear. Yeah. Away. <laughs> <laughs> like I was like, this is not this, this, is, this is it. This is after this is after good. after I get in the hotel room, it's like bag those things and put them away because so, my butt was so, just. Yeah. So, some somehow somehow we make it yeah. through the show oh my God. and we're sitting we're sitting backstage and I mean I, I'm looking at Bunny she's white as snow are you <laughs> like my, about, my, are you still talking yeah, about that uh -huh, yeah yeah <laughs> afterwards like you're you're looking this we're all just like sitting oh there and David comes strolling up <laughs> yeah, he's like that was the best show ever <laughs> I wasn't joking we're like, uh, I wasn't we're joking like, we're better than worse <laughs> I still remember. Oh, like we were going down to rehearse mm -hmm. in the ballroom, yeah. and I like went got down, I went down the elevator, and I remember like waiting for the rest of you, so I just sat in the hallway next to the elevator <laughs> on the floor, like curled and up. I'm like, I like the, the elevator doors open, and you were standing there with your sunglasses on. <laughs> <laughs> I was dead. I never had food before. It was awful. No. Um. Oh. So so oh, Camille says hi. Um, uh, she's, she's very, very tired because she works uh, <laughs> another job, so. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, just to piggyback on your story, yeah. I wasn't joking. Uh, I think a little bit of it was, I knew everyone else got sick and Camille and I were just like, okay, so it's, it's our show now, right? No. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. So, but I was just like, uh, so in me, I was like, oh, okay, things are going pretty good. Uh, I could tell you guys were struggling, obviously, yeah. but... Yeah. But I thought like it was actually really good. But I think yeah, a little we bit of it, we were trying very hard yeah, yeah. To, yeah. to get everything like perfect. A little bit of it sick. was was when everyone when when there's a need. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And yeah. Then, not that anyone asked because obviously you guys are talented. Yeah. But it felt like I got this. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> come on, bro. <laughs> yeah. So I probably yeah. my I was a little you were like yeah. Also, yeah. so, fun fact that was um, if anyone's familiar with the live show, you know that me and my baby, me and Camille, do oh, the dancing. Oh, is that that one? That was the premiere of me and my baby. We had never performed oh, it, and I was backstage in my heels. Oh. I was wearing like character shoes, just like staring at the floor. And it, that's like a really tough dance. Like we're so out of breath after. And I was like, "How oh my am I going?" We we had like some help, some volunteers backstage. And I remember one person came up to me and was like, "Would you like a bucket next to the stage?" No. Yes. I was like, oh, "Honestly." Yes. The best but part like, of that, I love yeah. that part when you when when, you, when he like spins you and does yeah. that, and then in that particular show, you projectile vomit. Yeah. <laughs> Because I was literally gonna say there's like there's a lot of pictures from that show of yeah. the dip at the end yeah. and like everyone's like, Oh my god, it's so cool and like when I see that picture, all I can see is me trying not to throw yeah. it up in your face. I'm like ah. oh, <laughs> oh. I wanna so, photoshop this now. Se second times. second 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 paper story is like similar to Bunnies was I think second time we did Dragon Con. <laughs> Oh what? Oh, sorry, I thought I People want to see your beautiful face. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the second second time we did Dragon Con. Uh first first time was Another just crazy night of uh, I'll never forget. Like, anyways, doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the second time we come, it's good, and it's like two ballrooms full of people. Probably the biggest audience we've ever had. I've never seen that many people <laughs> like it. And when when I did Line Awake, and I took my ear out so I could hear what's going on, everyone was singing Line Awake, like all the words to it, and I was like, oh, that's. I guess that's kind of cool. <laughs> that's a, that's one of those I'll never forget moments. Cool. I, th I think I think we. There's always not that you don't appreciate it when you hear it after the fact. Oh yeah. But like when when I first heard uh, diamonds, people were singing along diamonds. We weren't actually playing it live because mm -hmm. we it's just not something we wanted to play live. Uh, I did, but we just it never happened. Uh, we did eventually. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, but I remember we would play like some of our music videos before the show would start at conventions and hearing a whole room sing. Even I know it's not my song, yeah. but s singing along to it that was like. Uh, yeah. They watch the video. That's that thing. This yeah. is this is what we were doing behind behind the the stage as the audience was like getting more and more robust and you know yeah. just like they're ready. Yeah. We we're just going. <laughs> yes. So that so it's it's, so cool. Yeah, picking that first starting song when you're that when you have those nerves yeah. of like excitement. Yeah. Sometimes 
Uh, it's Clockworks is a nice one because it's not too fast, no, but it still no, has no, energy. No. When, when, when we do Steamboat, mm-hmm. I'm like exhausted. <laughs> that's, a, that's a rough one to start with. Steamboat, so it's because uh, this this thing is the hardest part. <laughs> Ah, uh, doing this over and over again. You know, yeah, this thing. It's been forever since I had a selfie on Instagram of all of us together. Oh, oh yeah, this will be good. I guess, uh-huh. I guess we're taking a. Oh, oh bring it on in. See the selfie. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> any, any of you out there want a selfie? No. Hey, come on in. Yeah. You know, guys, get in. Everyone, we'll leave, everyone, we'll get leave in. A, we'll leave a space for you. <laughs> no, no. There. Um, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, let's Push get back on. Let's okay. get back on track right. here. Bye. Thank you for. I'm, thank you, I'm Chelsea, for coming in to, to say hi. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, wait. I'm repping. Uh, you, you told people who you were, right? Yes, I think Good. so. Yes. Yeah. I'm a Walter worker. If you're not a sh- not sure what a Walter worker is, I've gotta go to the live my shows. My hair is in my face, but I'm gonna show. Can you see my? Oh yeah. Walter Robotics. Yes. It's kind of covered up by the microphone. Uh-huh. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Walter Robotics. Uh, we make robots. Just sh- I know we're, we're missing some people, but uh, Brandon Bear, thank you so much for the Thanks donation. Man. We appreciate it. Uh, okay, let's. Uh, we only have. Uh, we, we quick on these ones. A few more, yeah. <laughs> uh, I didn't think the stream would go this long, but I guess <laughs> once we get going, uh, uh, I guess I'll take this one. Okay. Uh, Cabbages, is that how, you, how would you say that? Yeah, Cabbages? Yeah. Cabbages. Cabbages, Cabbages, one of our Patreon patrons, uh, asked uh, if you could meet uh, any of the various folks from SPG Lore and have a uh, dinner conversation, or dinner or conversation with them, who would you choose? Rex Marksley. Rex Marksley? Mm-hmm. Why Rex Marksley? Well, he's got that cool white suit. Uh, he seems like a normal person. That's, he, what, that's what you're really saying. And he, <laughs> and he shoot, shoot, bang, bang. Shoot, shoot, bang, bang. Yeah, yeah it was pretty fun. Rabbit, I'm a narcissist, so I just want to make out with myself. I'm just like, oh my god, Rabbit, you're so hot. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I think, uh, I, I was going to say Rex, too. Because, well, too bad. He I see, said Rex. Because, you know, it seems He's like... He's having lunch with me. You know, because most some of the characters are too are too out there. Where mm-hmm. you're like, okay, well, this is a space god. This is a space <laughs> goddess. This is a this is a necro star. What I don't want to eat. What about the suspended man? Uh, yeah, he, he can sold the devil. Yeah, maybe. yeah, he can be your friend. Maybe he's like Ghost Rider. Maybe he's like Rex Marks. Maybe, maybe he's a good. Him. Maybe he's a good good antihero. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, was gonna say suspended man, but I figured you would say Rex Markley, so I. Wanted to... Uh, so yeah, necro star probably. <laughs> uh, and funny, you want to take this last one? Uh, Alex Foster, I'm curious to know what your favorite band or song is at the moment. It's always a hard one for me to answer. Obviously, we like a lot of music, but currently, what am I listening to? I'm listening to, I'm listening to a lot of. Oh my God, Lindsey Buckingham. Is that oh, right? okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I recently watched the Vacation movies, and I was like, <laughs> that first movie with his songs was like. <laughs> Oh, then this one's even better. We went dancing across the USA. Yeah, those are pretty, those are pretty oh. good. Yeah, anyways. Uh, I will listen to The Weeknd. Oh, I, I, he's great. Um, I just want to let everyone know that YouTube popped up with things that says, Now would be a good time to insert an ad. Press this button to play an ad. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's my. That's what I'm listening to a lot of The Weeknd and Lindsey Buckingham and, and stuff in that those eras, genres. Mm. I'm a big fan of uh, Kendrick Lamar at the moment. Mm. Answer Back was a was a big one too. I'm always a fan of the Dirty Projectors and Dirty Projectors. I say it a lot, and nobody ever listens to it, and it's fine because it's for me. And every time he releases an album, I get back into it. It's just it's just what it is. It's one of those people I, I always still haven't listened. To. Yeah, you you don't have to. It's for <laughs> me. Uh, anytime he releases an album, I always get into it. Like it's just mm. I, sometimes I, I get in a musical drought, and he always pulls me out of them. So cool. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, I've been listening to a lot of Aurora. Lately, oh. I think I think when the, the when the Sky Children of the Light uh, game had their concert, that got me back mm. into it a little yeah. bit, and I I rediscovered some of the albums I kind of skipped. Yeah, uh, and I like it all. Cool. I think it you know I'm I'm I've very much I listen to a lot of uh, singer songwriter, yeah. uh, uh, real chill stuff. I yeah. I don't know. I mean I li- I appreciate lots of music, but that's when I'm on a, a long <clears throat> car ride or or something like that. I'm always like put on something that's gonna just. Yeah. Mellow me out. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool. Uh, have we got another question? That's uh, that's it. Okay, cool. Hello. Thanks so much. I know we probably didn't get to everyone's questions, but we, we fielded some and got some from you, so thank you. Uh, you guys want to hear another song? Some of you probably just showed up and have been expecting, like, I thought they were going to play some songs. <laughs> I thought this was a band. That was our Q&A section. Well, you thought wrong. This isn't a band. It's a joke, it's a joke machine. Uh, so, yeah, uh, now we'll get... 
I'm gonna. I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't tune my guitar. Uh, Take your time. I changed. Oh, this is a great. Water I changed break. the the my <laughs> capo for uh, uh, Shattered Stars, and I I needed to retune because I I had just tuned it for. Oh man! <laughs> I put some so lemon in my water. Ooh! Oh, so nice. It's like I'm drinking uh, like fancy, high quality. I mean, <laughs> ooh! Uh, thank you so much uh, for the people who have, have donated. Uh, a big kawaii potato. Uh, thank you for being so proud hey, big of kawaii. us. Listening since uh, high school. Crazy. Uh, really making us feel old over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe the. Uh, we have no, a special I, I, guest. <laughs> we have a special guest from TikTok. You may know this character. It's a beloved Steam Power Giraffe character. Um, it's famous for TikTok. He's right over there. You want to come over? Oh, I'm shy. This... Oh, I can't. I'm too shy. Oh, boy. Whoa, wait. Whoa, ah, ah. We went dancing. <laughs> I don't know. I never did any. I never did any bits with this. What do I do? <laughs> yes. Yes. Dinosaur guitar. Uh. Thank you, so Core excited. Onyx. Um, <laughs> I'm excited too. Core Onyx was asking a question with their donation, which I guess, yeah, okay, so I guess that works. <laughs> Give us ten bucks, y'all. Answer question. No, uh, how did you come up with your makeup? So I guess uh, makeup Ooh. designs. Is that a good, good uh, little? <coughs> and also, thank you for Ver Veronica. Uh, it doesn't say the last name. It's, I'm assuming it's Johnson, but it didn't. It's not. It's cutting it off for me. Mm. Uh, so how do we come up with makeup designs? Let's uh, maybe a little brief of that. Yeah. Just because someone did it, but we're not gonna answer any more questions <laughs> after that. I mean, I, my, I was a steampunk robot originally, and so I wanted to be industrial and rusted. And the rest is, is uh, <laughs> history. I, I, I was into Guillermo del Toro and, and Tim Burton at the time, still am, and a lot of that influenced me, especially like Hellboy 2. There was a lot of cool creature concepts, and I would start playing around with just sort of like isolating parts of the face. And I think that helped, because eventually I settled on sort I mean, obviously the makeup changes a lot, but I settled on sort of a... The eyes, the mouth, the nose were all kind of the same. They haven't really changed that much. Just the yeah. colors. Just the colors a little bit. Yeah, but I came up with a lot of my design. Um, and then I've embellished a little bit on it. But the sonic eyes and the uh, little pieces of silver everywhere, the little patch on the forehead and stuff like that. So, yeah. yeah. Pat patchwork stuff. Yeah, and uh, because I, I chose silver when we were first starting... I was like, that was my first thing. I was like, okay, I want to be a silver robot because we were picking. Because like, everyone wanted to be the silver robot because, because it was the, the easiest, one. obvious color. Uh, and I just thought, I thought I needed a leg up because I'm not as artistic as Bunny and all the other people in the band. It's too hard to find yourself. Uh, so, uh, which is why my makeup hasn't changed as much. But also, I, I added eventually when Hatchworth came along. I thought, okay, his makeup is a little more complicated than the Johns was. So. I was trying to find the balance of like what I can do and give myself even more time in the makeup because <laughs> we do our own makeup by the way. Uh, so it's, it's, I guess mine's a little more like futurism kind of. Yeah. I, there's no steampunk like aesthetic to the spine or really most of our characters. There's the like, goggles and hats yeah. for Bunny of, of course, Rabbit. Yeah, character, they, they, we sort of you know with the costumes and we, we, we definitely the makeup kind of showcases a little bit a little bit like that. Spine is very clean, clean and it's very futurist, futurist. Futurism. I don't want to say it's diesel punk. It's a little bit diesel punk, but it's it's more. He's more clean, like right. Like he's futurism, and uh, and then Brian uh, sort of falls into the art, like Art Deco, Art Deco 1930s. <laughs> There's yeah. as I mean, asymmetry going on. He has oh, he has like a zoot suit coat. I think we never he never wears, but we yeah. we keep talking about it. Like we're gonna show you. I have like, I, 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 I I have oh, it. What? <laughs> I just, this is a perfect opportunity. Oh no. Uh, to, 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 I just pulled these out because I was like maybe we'll maybe we'll, have, oh, yeah. we'll do a show and tell. This isn't it. This, this, these are just spine. These are spine costume pieces. Uh, here's the gloves that I use. They don't last too long. These ones have lasted the longest because of the pandemic. Uh, mm -hmm. But you know, I play guitar with these. Mm -hmm. I paint them while they're on my hand. Or actually, I've I got someone who's really way better at painting to do them now than myself. I've got a giant <laughs> wrench made by Gabby. Right? Is this the Gabby one? Yeah, Gabby Gonzalez. And I think at, at home I have the one that. Uh, a fan gave us who made it. Yeah, and we liked it so much we made one that we could transport a little easier. Yeah, it actually comes apart. Yeah. <laughs> so we can store it in a suitcase. And this this joke is if you ever seen the live show, it's like, it's like, bring the small wrench. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Uh, and these are uh, I don't have all the hats, but these here's three hats in chronological order from okay. from oldest there, um, uh, for the spine. So here's a Beaver brand hat 
for the spine. I'm not going to put them on because there's, it's really old and gross and yeah, it, they get sweaty even with uh, headbands and stuff that I wear. So there's the, there's, I don't know the years of these. Let's, I'm not super sentimental about them. That's I just for some, that's, that's for the carbon dating and the steam powered drink. I'm like, the, <laughs> I'm saving like the last two or three just in case I need to like dump a butter, bucket yeah. of water over the spine's head, yeah. jump in a pool <laughs> <laughs> and I can damage one of these hats. And then here's another Beaver, the Beaver brand, oh no, the Beaver brand hats uh, don't, uh, exist anymore so I got one of their last ones I think this one and I wore this for up until about 1896 album and then uh, I used Optimo hats in Chicago to get uh, basically a replica of the Beaver brand hats one they're like oh we actually bought some of the Beaver brand hats uh, presses and stuff or something and I'm paraphrasing uh, but this one obviously looks the best uh, yeah that looks so I, nice. I keep it so because they're kind of expensive. I mean, they're affordable, but it's like ugh, yeah. I can't put. I can't like pack this away. It's it's very like you you, know. wear, you, you wear it on flights and stuff, right? Uh, I my it's last ones I would pack uh, in a suitcase that Chelsea would pack other stuff in, <clears> and <throat> I would like, and it was okay to get damaged a little bit. This one I've never traveled with though. Oh, I might um, have to get a. Special but yeah, uh, for so it. the spine hat. Uh, not to make it all about uh, the spines costume, but that's the only thing we have here. Well, I've got this piece of bread. <laughs> well, uh, my costume's this piece are at bread my house, house uh, so I can't really. <laughs> but bread's it's... been my costume piece for. I, I use a leather hat right now, which is great because it doesn't it, do, it doesn't malform very much and it's very sturdy. And I and I'm, you know, I'm like usually running all over the stage and it kind of it kind of works though, even when it has a little bit of wear and tear. Yeah, it. it looks it looks cool. I like it. It's uh, not fun to wear because it's leather and that <laughs> and trap. And then I have this wig on, and it's just. Uh, the big old rabbit wig, and it's just like, oh, it's so hot. Uh, so those are the three hats. Uh, and I guess if anyone's curious, what makes the spine hat unique is that the brim is a little bit bigger than a normal fedora would be, even like by not like a trilt bee. It's, it's it's pretty big and it's tall yeah. C crown. It, it that's what makes it. It's a t the tall crown and the and the brim that's just slightly bigger. Like you have to get a custom one. You're never gonna find. I mean, unless it's gonna look like an Indiana Jones hat and. That's the, that's the secret. The, the first hatless robot, and take uh, that. We, we did some concepts where he was wearing a bowler, mm -hmm. uh, but I think what we just we kind of focused in on was like a Hornberg. Yeah, yeah, the, the big the big zoot the big zoot is that what that is? I that, can't, the, Humber, the Humber, Humber, there was, Well, there was yeah, there's the zoot suit hat, but we thought that was probably gonna cover up your face no. too much. But then there was like I think it was a Hamburg. What is it called? But it's kind of like a it's between a bowler and a fedora, and it lo it, it looked cool, but. You don't need a hat. Someone bought me a, a top hat. I think it was Kendi actually bought me a top hat that I will, not wear, I will not. I will not wear on stage. But I've worn on stage in other bands no. <laughs> and in other cool events. What? I wear it all the time, actually. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, I wore it to a wedding the other day. I got some good pictures. Thanks, Kendi. Mm. Nice. Uh, okay, we, I guess we've talked. Uh, we've had yeah, some show and tell. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's, do let's do another song. Back. Let's, do it. let's, let's do get back it. to this. Let's get back to it. Um, <clears throat> sorry, we're not playing all your favorites today. Obviously, we're no, trying to. We're, no, there's no. These are the ones that we thought would be. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> just, just play. We're sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. We're not playing Captain Albert Alexander and Rex Marksley. Okay. We knew we were gonna disappoint anyone, but hopefully, the picks we've picked are the ones that you're like. I know that song. We didn't. We're not playing too many deep cuts <laughs> today. Take my breath away. The stream's gone on real long. Right? I thought this was going to be like t 20 minutes <laughs> yes, at max, but here we are. This is okay. great. Well, you, more bang for your buck, or lack thereof. We wanted to keep it casual, so... <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's casual is an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> okay. Free show. What are you going to... You going to complain it's too long? <laughs> <laughs> you got anywhere to go? <laughs> There was a time I was in love All the angels and the doves Couldn't make us say I love you You didn't have to say my name Ignite my circus and start a flame But you did Yes, you did You didn't have to look my way Your eyes still haunt me to this day But you did Oh, 
turpentine erase me whole I don't want to live my life alone I was waiting for you all night Send me free, my honey and You dig in Yes, you did You didn't have To offer your hand Cause since I've kissed it I am at your command But you did Oh, it turbines And erase me whole I don't know my life alone I was waiting for you all my life oh, I Send me free My, 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 and then, you know, the rest. Yeah. <laughs> Fix Rabbit. She comes back to life. And then... <clears throat> Honey of Without you, that I'll never know. That I'll never know. I let myself go. I let myself go. Hello, goodbye. I'm rather crazy, and I never thought I was crazy. But what do I know? But what do I know? I let myself go. I let myself go. Myself without you, that I'll never know. I let myself go. Hello, goodbye. I'm rather crazy, and I never thought I was crazy. But what do I know? What do I know? I let myself go. I let myself go. Oh, no right. <laughs> I want to go again I in the chorus. Hello, no goodbye, I'm rather crazy, and I, I never thought I was crazy. Hello, goodbye, it was nice to know you how I found myself. Goodbye, tonight, I'm dark and maybe just a never dark and crazy. Sorry, I thought there was totally another chorus. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, let's do it again. Unless I jump again, but I think that's it. No, I think that's it. <laughs> I think it's just feeling it. Just yeah. feeling it, getting into the groove. Uh, um, so yeah, Honeybee, one of our more popular songs, and we started that circa 2011, 2012, um, performed it live, uh, it really kind of picked up during shows around Tucson, Arizona, we did, what was it, was it called? I can't remember. 
Anyways, there's a steampunk fair that happened at Old Tucson, Arizona. Wild Wild West Con. Wild Wild West Con. And the first year there, we performed acoustic, and Abney Park was headlining. We went to the cart, and we're like, someday that's going to be up us, us up there. And then, like, a couple years later. <laughs> it was, yeah, and we did it for, like, four years in a row. Uh, it was, or maybe even more. It was fun. Yeah. Uh, that's what, and then Honeybee kind of... Yeah, it, uh, it's nice little. Thank you, William. Song. William Gluck, I think. Unless wait, wait there's umlauts under the U. Would that be Gluck? Yeah, Gluck. <laughs> sure. Gluck sounds like a name. William G. And thank you, S R H R S Y. I can't spell. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the support, guys. <laughs> um, talking about honeybee. <laughs> well, you want to break down some of them harms? Yeah, them, them chicken. That's harms? how we talk about them. <laughs> some of them chicken harms. Uh. Uh, we, did we want to start with? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> yeah, how to get into it. Did we start with uh, turpentine, or are we doing uh, Tur we turpentine erase? Let's, let's find. Let me, let's find what that is. Uh, you raise me hope. So we're, that's. I think that's the first one. Let's start there. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Oh, turpentine erase me whole Cause I don't know want, want to live my life alone Well, I was waiting for you all my life Oh, 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 oh why Set me free, my Let me just make sure we're in there key Honey of Close to the mic, stereo, yeah. instruments, uh, it's more, in, uh, what's, what's the word? Intimate mix. Mm. Yeah, honey, <laughs> Honeybee uh, definitely loves, well, actually, I don't know how many people know this, like a little history about it. It was inspired by a genre of music that kind of exists in the 60s. I'm not quite sure. I don't have the pedigree to understand all of that, but I do understand Tom, I think, can't remember his name, but it's based on, I don't think it's based on, but I, I heard songs like this, and I only recently rediscovered uh, Why Do I Love You, I think it's called, by, I can't remember his name, but it goes, uh, basically goes, it's one of the, there's a lot of songs where it's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was nice, because it was like, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's the, it's the right before doo -wop. Yeah. So, you know, they, they loved all those, like, little harmonies yeah. and stuff like that. That's, I can't remember the name, but it's like, Why do I love you oh, yeah. so? Do, 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 do. So if you ever want to know oh, yeah. a Honeybee adjacent song. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I know the song. Yeah. And it has, like, the creepiest lyrics. It's like, was it because when something lied? Or was it because when your little puppy died? <laughs> what? It's <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Yeah, all right. <laughs> Why do I love you so? I was listening to it on the way here. That's crazy. Mwah. Uh, it's great harmony. Great, great two, song. Two more shout outs. Uh, shout out to uh, Todd N Y Allison. Uh, Yo, thank you so much. Todd. Mm. Uh, they just they just tuned in uh, while uh, while we were playing Honeybee. So nice. they're having a horrible day, oh. and that sure. Oh up. man, hey. uh, And thank you to Lauren as well. Thank you, Lauren. Uh, oh yeah, History on Honeybee. It was a breakup song. Uh, <laughs> well, I started writing it for a girl I was dating. And she broke up with me, and then I finished it. Yeah. So it's always been about not placing people on pedestals. So it's kind of a downer song. Or, or your wedding song, because <laughs> I put it out there. That's what it meant to me, and it's become much more positive, I think, in people's minds. But you know, it's kind of that. It's I wanted to. It's that little, little bit of heartbreak, a little bit of you're a little bit wiser. You understand. Well, even with good love. There's always gonna be a little bit of heartbreak. It's just I mean, how things go. So, no, yeah. Uh, cool. Well, that's life. Well, yeah. There we go. It's life. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm on the verge. Johnny. Johnny <laughs> Till 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 uh, Till Stone. Yeah, he's great. Um, definitely. Like, an can I play for devil's Ivy. advocate? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, if you listen to the lyrics, yeah, it's a breakup song. That's all I'll say. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, we're more than happy. Super happy that people love the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I would say it's the reason we exist. Yeah. Uh, monetarily, no. I would say. I would think. Yeah. A lot of people stream it. A lot of people request it for video requests that I do. 
uh, and I do my best. Uh, David, take on it. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Bunny obviously yeah. blows me out of the water with that. But uh, so thank you so much for that. But it's also a breakup song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I guess it's. it's I, I guess, guess it's, it's about time for us to wind down yeah. and head Sun, off into the. Sun's going down, big fella. You heard. You heard a lot yeah, of. You're late. You heard a lot of a classics today. Um, that, but what does the future of Steam Power Draft sound like? <laughs> I don't know. We want to. I am a robot. I am a robot in the future. Yes, I'm a robot. So I am not a robot. Uh, always want to. Uh, our mime instructor always said, "Leave him wanting more. Leave him wanting more. Leave him wanting more." I think a lot. Of, that's a lot of theater things. Always <laughs> don't give him too much. You're not. Yeah, you're, it's good you don't advice. need to do. We're not. We're not to the caliber or or fame or or legacy yet where we can do a four hour concert. And people are there because they're mm -hmm. middle aged and that's their mm -hmm. favorite band mm -hmm. from in the past. We're not that. So we're gonna leave everyone wanting more. <whistles> On that note, bye! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're gonna uh, do one more little special thing for you. Uh okay. Uh yeah, breaking down these harmonies. And we can get in closer to this one too. How the little pieces make up so much sense in the distance oh, 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 Fragmented to the point of is it possible Hot on the trail of a real fine life This could be what it means to be alive can't be too sure, but it feels the right way. Love is infinite like sun rays. Okay, a little bit of a little bit of hot on the trail uh, for you. Uh, Thank you so much for everyone yeah, uh, for it's been tuning a lot in. Of fun. I think uh, I think we've we've covered everything we set out to cover and then some. Uh, but just just to appease some people, here's here's a little bit of. Rex Marksley, finest marksman in the West. In there you go. All right, we're going to <laughs> we're going to lunch now, Rex. Come on, buddy. Rex Marksley, finest marksman in the West. Okay, and then a little bit of a little. I, <laughs> I never get to do those anymore. I saw that uh, this and this one was a little requested. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> just just for a, just for jokes. Uh, Oh, you want to take this away? I think yeah, yeah. you probably know it a little I bit. Probably I probably do. Uh-oh, if I'd patrol, come on and get you now. Oh, I thought you knew it first, okay. Uh-oh, if I patrol, come on and get you. And how? If you feel the fart come and better squeeze them cheeks, lest you rip one into the air. Yeah. Yeah. The cop just come and gonna take you away to their secret fart patrol air. Yeah. If you're tootin', you better be scootin', cause all the butt flutin's gonna clear the space. The fart patrol is just doing their duty before the duty tooters get all over the place. Uh oh, fart patrol, coming to get you now. In the record. <laughs> uh oh, fart patrol, coming to get you. And how? Obviously. Uh-oh, Fire Patrol, coming to get you yeah. now. Uh-oh. There you but, go. There, we appeased some people with a little bit of... You're welcome, <laughs> Fire Patrol fans. This is for you. Uh, thank you so much, uh, everyone. I yeah. know there's there's still donations coming in. Uh, I don't know how 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 YouTube sorts them for us, but it seems out of order. Uh, but thank you to Rick uh, DuPlessis uh, from Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, uh, thank you so much for, for, for all the support, everyone. Uh, we'll have more in the future. Hopefully, you enjoyed this uh, free live stream. Yeah. Uh, feel free to leave a tip after the fact if you didn't get one on stream. We have a, a website, or you know, use that tip to buy one of our many merchandises. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you if you want to support us and get something cool, like us on the Spotify, like subscribe, to hit that bell. Patreon, Patreon too. <laughs> if you like, if you want to do that, we got some cool yeah. perks too. Even what? if you set up for this like is a not month. a Patreon thing. This is in our store. <laughs> if you want a steam powered giraffe water bottle, just like I'm drinking out of. Um, mm. But just showing up today, watching a few ads uh, helps us too. So, <laughs> so, so thank you for doing that. Yes, uh, thank you so much. Should I'm supposed to put an ad break now? <laughs> <laughs> right Don't do it. It's the end. It's the end of the stream. It's fine, right? Here's your <laughs> Bye, everyone. See you, later. See you on the 16th year anniversary. Happy anniversary!
<laughs> Bye. I don't know if the break is like, here's the ad break and now it comes back. Like, it does I don't know. Now let's end it like Saturday Night Live. <laughs> I'd like to thank Lauren Michaels and the crew. Uh, Billy Crystal who showed up today. Uh, Jeffy, you the man. Oh, man. <laughs> what a great time. Can't believe I'm up here. Hey, Lance. Good night. <laughs> Cast party. <laughs>